Hi DIYers, this is Michael from Alarm Grid, and today I'm going to tell you how to power on a 2GIG GC2E security system. Now as you can see, our GC2E is already powered on, but I'll still be able to go through the powering process. I'm going to open up the panel and show you what we would do. Um, you can actually access the back terminal without opening up the panel, but since we already have ours mounted, it's just easier for us to open it up. But that aside, um, so first um, I, I want to show you the transformer here. Um, it's actually the same transformer that's used with um, a 2 gig Go Control GC2 or a GC3 or a GC3E. They all use um, a 14 volt DC 1.7 amp uh, power supply uh, for the transformer. And since this is uh, DC power, uh, it's going to have positive and negative terminals. And so you're going to want to uh, connect polarity properly. Um, Traditionally, black is negative and red is positive, so keep that in mind when setting up your connections. Really, you can use any color you want as long as it matches on the back. But if you're using a barrel connector, that, that will be important. And you know, if you just want to follow polarity, uh, black to negative, red to positive. Um, so anyway, uh, we have our GC2E system here. And I'm going to start by uh, trying to open it up. Um, first, uh, you can take off this uh, front plate here. You just kind of get your fingernails under there, and it pops right off. And then uh, you can take your flathead screwdriver and you can just release these two connections. Um, and as for this unlock before opening, um, we didn't have to do anything with ours, but if you have to loosen it, uh, you can do that. Um, that's recommended. So you just kind of get in there, and here we go. We got the first one, and the second one, and then we're just going to pull it down neatly. And now we have it open up. So um, just to show you the back of it real quick, um, we actually have uh, two different ways we can connect uh, um, power to the system. Uh, what we did, we had a Honeywell LT cable, and we just used the longer portion of the cable, and we just did this uh, barrel connector right there. Um, now, to get to this, you actually will have to open it up. Uh, you might be able to reach in through the back plate, which you can see through here, but it's going to be very tough to reach through there, especially if you have larger hands. So um, we recommend opening it up if you're doing that. And that, that, this is the easier way to connect. You just connect the, the barrel connector into the port, and you're good to go. And um, the other way to do it, um, I'm going to show you the other end of the LT cable that we didn't use. Uh, you see it has the red for positive and the black for negative, the two wires on there. Uh, so what you would do is there's the terminal block right here um, next to the speaker. And it's got the V plus, uh, that's for positive, and the V minus, uh, that's for uh, negative. So you would connect uh, the, the black one to the V minus and the red one to the V positive. And then you can connect the rest of your LT cable or uh, whatever cable you're using. If you're using traditional wiring that you stripped and prepared yourself, you can use that. Um, but um, what you do, you would take a Phillips head screwdriver, which we have here, and you would just loosen up the terminals and um, insert the wires, tighten them down. You don't have to make them overly tight, just nice and snug. And then you would connect them to there. And that's how you would provide power that way. But like, like I said, we used the barrel connector. Uh, that's um, what's easiest for us. And um, remember, when you're um, setting the system up, before you make the connection, make sure to run the wire through the back plate. Uh, because if you do that before um, you put on the back plate, then you won't be able to close the system. You'll have to undo your connections, and that would be inconvenient. So make sure to run the wires through the back plate before making your connections. Uh, we ran ours through our back plate, as you can see. So I'm just going to go ahead and close this up. Uh, we're not going to trigger an uh, alarm there. And we're just going to close it. It kind of just snaps into place like that. And then we can put our front cover back on. And um, actually, one thing I do, I do want to show you um, before I, I'm going to have to open this back up again. But one thing I do want to show you real quick, just because this is important. Um, 2 gig recommends always connecting the backup battery before you do the AC power. And we have the backup battery. It's the green pack right there. Its port is right there. Above the barrel connector, you can see, um, let me see if I can get this out of the way here. And you can see the backup battery port right there. Yeah, uh, 2 gig recommends connecting the backup battery before plugging in AC power. So connect the backup battery first, then either do the barrel connector or the terminal block. Um, just wanted to show you that real quick. Glad I remembered. And um, that's good enough. So we'll just go ahead and snap this back on here. Like I said, it just kind of snaps into place. And there, that's adequate. So we're going to take this and put this back on cover. 
And that's, that's how you power on your 2 gig GC2E security system. Uh, one last thing to keep in mind, um, be sure to check the maximum wire runs that you can use depending on the gauge of wire that you're using. Uh, thicker wire will allow for a longer wire run. Um, thinner wire will only allow for a shorter wire run, uh, just because as current travels through elect electrical current travels through the, the wire, um, it loses a little bit along the way. And if you make the wire run too long, then not enough power will be supplied to the panel, and you might get an AC loss condition even though it's powered on. Um, I believe you have to provide at least 11 volts DC power to the system to uh, make sure it gets enough power. Um, so just make sure to check that. That'll be in the FAQ listed below. Um, so that's how you power on a 2 gig GC2E security system. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up below to like the video. And remember to subscribe to our channel to get updates on future videos. And if you have any questions about the GC2E or alarm monitoring, uh, send us an email at support at alarmgrid.com. We're always happy to help. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.